Hello, I'm Ed Tristan. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Communist Canada, Canada popular state. We're doing fairly well right now. Uh, we're pushing in on South America, who have put up much more of a fight than I thought they would. Um, ooh, wow, Brazil, you are tougher than I expected as well. Uh, we are also, we finished off Sweden, we have finished off Portugal, we're going to take on uh, the remains of Portugal, who still haven't been defeated because, uh, God knows. Who are you? No idea who you are of that flag. Anyway, uh, meantime, would help if we could finally finish the battle. Oh, this is just embarrassing. It's our allies are actually helping. Right, you, I don't care what you're doing anymore. Just, I can't order you to do that. Why, why can I not order you to do that? Units can't end, why not? Uh, Uruguay, hi. Wait, hi. I oh, just, solid, I'll hit this. Hi. If I war on them, they join Germany. Which consists of like a couple of old guys in an armchair somewhere in Japan being like, oh, Yes, we are Germany. What do you want? We like to join your ally alliance. Oh, you want to join our alliance? Oh, we did not expect that. Um, let's go. I guess maintenance. Uh, I uh, oh, we probably want engineers just in case we have to go on the defensive. It's not like in the plan, but it might happen. I don't want any more tactical bonus. Halifax bombers, though, I could go for. We'll have a group of 400. I can't wait for the patch when I can actually like deploy these before they're actually fully like ready. Oh, set their air zone. You get what? You know what I mean? All right. Caribbean. Go to the Caribbean and bomb some stuff strategically. That'll raise our war score participation very nicely. Right, you hit here. No, don't do that. Just push. Oh, but we need to we need to redistribute our troops because they're not optimal. No, no, they're going to be optimal when you kill the enemy right in front of you. Oh no, we can't. We got we got to be optimal. We sod off. Yeah, do do do. Nah, no, of course, whatever. Yes, that is looking a lot better. Great news. Right, Paraguay, you're going down. Why can't I not quickly warn you? Oh, because, wait, what? I thought I had, where, hmm. Oh yeah, no, I couldn't do war against you because you're, uh... yeah, sorry. Forgot who you were, what happens. Crush you now. And we've got to move our navy. So I'm going to group you. Uh, under you. And then we're going to need, what, this, this, and this to be able to do our invasion. So, search and destroy. And that should cover it when they get on station to be able to do our naval invasion. Right, hit him. Meanwhile, I've got my units coming down from Sweden. They probably are very disappointed by the change in scenery. I cannot blame them. Ten nukes. When you don't have enough. Oh, I 
guess I'll move you down to the Black Sea. Ah! And then over here. Right. Yeah, Uruguay is not going to last very long. Just put it that way. I love that they've set up like, you know, three divisions, two divisions, two divisions, 22 divisions, something else, something else. I'm just like, I don't care. Steamroll! Steamroll works. They've capitulated. And... There we go. Done. Now, we're going to have to sort out our border guard for the second Brazil and United Kingdom, because that is going to be a thing. Uh, what about down here? Have our troops got here? We're still getting here. Yeah, so it's finishing off Portugal, Japan, Philippines. Right. Where's our navy? Nearly there. Ready to go? Do it. Do it, do it, do it now. Let me guess, you like 90%? Yeah, national unity. Like in theory that adds up to 100, but you can't have more than 90. So yeah, they're going to be pretty tough to fight. And you are apparently just not included for some reason for you. I'm going to manually tell you to just join in a bit. We'll need to find like a port though to do that. Alright. Technically we're losing a fight up here. We're very low attrition, that's why. Yes! Sure, keep sending me more divisions. I'm very pleased with that. I want half of them. And then push for Manila. Oh, hello. Killed five convoys. How lovely. Right, you capture up here. You capture up here. You capture here. I know it's going to put us on an issue for supplies, but... The idea is to try and keep them off balance as much as possible. Which I think we should manage. The question is who's in Manila? Uh, you're attacking me, that's fine. No one's in Manila. Really? Well that is really helpful. Hi, thank you. Let's split you up. Yeah, you should be no problem. Streamline production. Sweet. And we got Manila. So we've got the capital. We've got the port. Uh, ooh, construction. Let's go resources. Why not? It'll help. Uh, we've got the port here. I need one of you to capture that. I need you to capture, like that. Yeah, I know. It's a mess. It's a horrible, horrible mess, but like I said, the point being we should now have a massive superiority. I don't even need these troops. Right. Who's, where's the rejects? You got rejected. So you can now land. Uh, I would actually like you to have a front line. And, you know, actually bin all front lines, front line, offensive line, and do that. Like a proper army.
Yeah, it looks pretty solid from here. Lancaster. Get me Lincoln. Might as well march down there, just in case. I think they've got units down there, but yeah, why not? What do we get this time? More convoys? Yeah, they've got two here. I'm going to hold my position. Yeah, the Philippines didn't really stand a chance. They didn't even have many units. I assume they sent all of them, like, away. To, like, support other people. Yeah! Come on, Philippines. We're going down. Also, we should probably check on Portugal. Hi. I'm fed up of this. Finish the goddamn war. That should help. We're actually going to run out of supplies. Because the only port on this actual set of islands here is here. They don't connect to anything else. And we're done. Right, front line, here you go. And then offensive line, here you go. Have fun there as well. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. This is just going really well. Two Japanese. I have to worry about the Japanese Navy though, of course. They could be a real threat. Okay. Portugal. How's it going? Please tell me that we're actually pushing in still. Yes, we are. How close are they to giving up? Uh, Portugal, 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 Portugal. 97%. Yeah, as soon as we grab this capital, they should be done. Iran are difficult. Japan are difficult. Yeah, Iran's like 78%. Yeah, they still haven't taken Tehran. As soon as they take Tehran, that should win it. Really, Portugal? Gonna like grab a few different units all over the place and just tell them to go different places. Night vision. Ah, uh, I guess we could go more paras. Marines might be more useful, but they'll take time. Let's start on the marines. I'd like have to literally build them as well, so. Wait, what? There we go. We're just going to leave my units where they are for the moment and we'll sort them out after the war's done. Come on, Portugal. You've now got no port. No way of getting supplies. You just need to give up. Damn it. They really just... Nice seven. Cuba is still up, but that's because they're going to be the last thing we take. We still want to be abusing them for the ability to get uh, strategic uh, bombing for war uh, participation. In fact, how much is our war participation right now? 45. Yeah, bombing only accounts for about less than 200. It's going up slowly, but... Right, which reminds me, we need to update our production line. Lancaster.
Philippines capitulated. Excellent. That is great news. It means we can use them as a stepping stone to Japan. Uh, oh, although actually we've got places up here we can use, like the port there. And is there another port? China. Can I have military access? Yes. Which means I can use your ports for naval actions, right? It says right click to. But I can't. Hmm. I think you're lying to me. Uh, it's only one base. I mean, I could base out of up here, but that means I need to have more cover. Yeah, actually, probably fine. We need to still take this port to actually get this unit out, otherwise this unit is going to be stuck forever. I'm not going to take the rest of the like little bits here and there. I just can't bother. Actually, no, they are owned by uh, Australia. Huh. I guess Australia is like the closest or something? Either way, your job's to get up here. And you are going to come up here and be my reinforcement wave. Right. Um, we're going to need to prepare an invasion of Cuba. Not, we might not like necessarily use it, but we'll need one. You make good uh, fodder? Sure. Why don't you do it? Either side of Havana. Seems reasonable to me. They're also really green. Probably shouldn't be using them, but... Eh. I'm not going to move my ships until the last moment because they might get killed by the Japanese Navy. And I really don't want to get killed by the Japanese Navy. It's a very bad idea. Uh, meanwhile... Portugal. Still hasn't given up. They've got a lot of units here, actually. Give in already. There's no way you're winning this. I don't think they can hear me. Uh, meanwhile, you're preparing to go against Cuba. You're just chilling. You know, you did an excellent job. However, please, you know, feel free to move out. Uh, I'm going to plan another invasion of Cuba as well, just in case that one fails. I mean, I don't know why it would fail, but it, it just might. Um, give you a garrison order up here. The reason I'm doing one up here rather than, like, down south where it would actually, like, matter is because I'm lazy. Also, there's a better infrastructure here. Engineers, two. Excellent. Um, get logistics. Finally. Um, 
Where's your other unit? Here. I'm glad you were clever enough to get yourself out. That really, really helped. Meanwhile, you haven't done that either. Good job. I'm so glad that my troops are responsible and smart and clever and side door. Uh, I'm going to need a port. There's a port here, but I want to land the mainland. There are like three ports here. There's also Nagasaki. I could go for Nagasaki. Focus on getting a good concentration around there. Or I could go here and try and grab any of these three. Um, I think this is a better chance of working if I focus on just getting as many troops down here as possible. And then your job is to like land on the other side and be able to do a pincer. And any time we take a port, we instantly ship in the 33 more divisions that are just waiting to be used. Oh, I do have somewhere I can launch an attack from. Okay. Uh, we should get that 33 divisions then and move them up here. They'll be closer to the action. Right. Uh, you're done over here? Right, you should go here, and we'll get you to land in France, because that's probably where you're going to be doing most of your war from now on. Still haven't managed to take that to Iran. I'm just laughing at that, sadly, through weeping tears. Uh, Japan? I don't think Japan's going to be too much of an issue. They're a little bit beaten by now. Long war. Uh, that said, they probably still have a number of units on the mainland, so it's going to be a case of can we just get a good landing? And can my troops actually get in the sea? Let's find out. Yes, they are trying to get in the sea. Excellent, right. So work on your naval invasion plans. Um, we'll do the same for Cuba. When my 24 get here as well, I think I'm going to do something similar, just that we've got a second... Um, Invasion plan. Just if things go... I don't know why they would. Just in case. There we go. Of course, we're going to need naval dominance that. In fact, we can probably use air coverage. Yeah, it might be fine using air coverage. Huh. Anyway, we're going to call it for here. I've been at Early Sydney. If you've enjoyed, please remember to uh, like. Not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Next episode, I think it's the invasion of Japan and the invasion of Cuba. And that possibly marks the end of the war. Depends if Tehran can be finished. God damn. Just destroy everything. Didn't... It's not particularly tough. Until next time, stay shiny.